think I'm gonna sell the Tiger right now. I think I'm gonna focus on the Jaguar. But So, this is a Javan Tiger. Female Tiger from Java. It's extinct now. No more left. It was extinct, I think. I'd have to look, I'd have to double check. But recently, very recently. Note the, I mean, this, this jaw screams tiger. Seems loose. Note the profile of the jaw, it's very concave. The back end of the jaw, this, this whole process, it's more angled this way. And a very angled chin and a very large, well developed angular process. This is a small tiger, man. I have, I have a Bengal tiger and it's much bigger than this. It's male. Uh, this is a female, so obviously there's gonna be a size difference. To know and think that this animal used to live here in Budapest at the zoo. But it came all the way from Java. Now this was back then before people were really in love with tigers, before tigers had their media campaign for them. And this was before, before people's attitude was more lenient. This was back when This was in a time where people just shot these things, man. There were organized hunts, no one really... There were vermin. They were evil to be exterminated. You know, and, and it could be understood, why? Because they were big, fearsome, stripy killers. But they were also descendants of a lineage of animals, of tigers that spread throughout the landmass of Sundaland, which is um, the landmass that occupied all of Java, all of Borneo, uh, Sumatra, Bali. That's why there are tigers on islands. Those islands used to be one giant landmass. Thailand, Sumatra, Java, Borneo, uh, Java, Bali were all connected by this giant land area and they were ruled by one species of tiger that later became isolated and speciated as the sea levels rose during the last ice age. And this became a relic tiger, a tiger with thinner stripes, a much more yellow color. Until its eventual demise. And now this one has landed here in my hands. I feel privileged. I feel honored. And I feel deeply humbled by just the simple experience of holding this animal and understanding what this is. Because this is a book, you know? Most of us can read, but not, most of, not a lot of us can understand and interpret this. The subtle, yet not so subtle language of bones and skulls and animals to tell the story of life on Earth. And uh, the story of life on Earth in recent times is just as exciting, if not more exciting, just because of its relevance to our own present state than uh, dinosaurs are. So, so I'm not gonna be making this, this, this skeleton. I'm gonna be making the jaguar. But I will be making this eventually. <laughs>